and why is that? You might say so just dance, 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 come on. For the last time and don't say some goddamn bullcrap like my mother told me to totally trust your professor now go on my mama said love believe me <laughs> if you say that one more time like a goddamn game character then i swear the things that i will do to you are unprecedented <laughs> That the opposite side, which are, yeah, you know, I hate that squeaking sound too. Now, shut up, semi stupid old Mac, semi stupid old. So, you have AN is congruent to RD, and you have AER is congruent to wind. So, how do we know that? Uh, stupid uh, Yes, Professor? How do we know this is true? My mom said, love, always believe in your professor. What the f- Anyway, I'm not gonna ask you any questions anymore, since you're clearly less intelligent than the snail passing by the uh, outside campus. So, instead, uh, let's continue. That's me. No. So, this is because their opposite sides of a parallelogram. There's a myth in the school now that whenever people ask you something, things always go wrong. Last time, the roof of a classroom collapsed just because you tried to answer a question. So, I'm not going to let you answer my little buddy. All right. So now, let's see what we have here. Well, realize that AE must be parallel to WD. And why is that, little boys and girls? Mom, my mama said, "Love, believe me." <laughs> if you say that one more time, like a goddamn game character. That I swear, the things that I will do to you are unprecedented. You know that? Anyway. <coughs> segments of parallel lines. Like ND and AR. Are parallel. Alright. Now. We also have to realize that AE must be congruent to ER. And why is that little boys and girls? Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that, it's creepy. Well, that's because E is the midpoint of air. All right, so now, We also know that W is the midpoint of ND. Even though the stupid old who drew this diagram didn't make it look like it. So W, so NWD or NW is congruent to WD because NWD is the midpoint is double U. Okay, maybe that's kind of confusing. Double U. All right. So now let's get into it for real this time. So we know that AE is congruent to WD and that NW congruent to ER. And why is that? You might say, it's a bold statement, right? All right, for the last time, stupid, and don't say some goddamn bull crap, like, my mother told me to totally trust your professor. Now go on, just tell me. My mama told me, love, 
always believe in you, Professor and textbook. Never question, Lal. I have an answer. Administration, please kick him out from my class. I want him removed, and in fact, I want him expelled from the entire school. I want him expelled from all primary, secondary, and tertiary education. Thank you. Bye. I know the reason. No. I mean, fine, fine. Say it. Actually, I don't know. Okay, thank God. All right. So, um, this is because... A E A E R is congruent to N W D. We already know that because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram. So A E R and N W D are congruent, and A E and E R is are essentially equal to half W D. Uh, A E R. So A E and E R are essentially equal to half A E R. But half A E R, you see, is equal to half N W D. So the thing is, half A E R is equal to half of N W D. So that means that we have. AE is equal to ER, which is equal to WD and NW. All right, so now we've learned some pretty important pro uh, uh, information. So let's write it down. NW, WD, and then we have AE and WD are equivalent. And we actually know that this and all of these segments are equivalent. Also note that AN and RD have to be equivalent since they're opposite sides of parallelogram. All right. So now we already know D and Ds, but now we have to figure out what's the situation over here. Well, that could be easily done, yeah, my guys. Why? Because realize that um prove that a and w is congruent to a dre <gasps> oh my god that's gonna be used now why well let's see is congruent to on and why is that me and boys well uh uh stupid oh tell me uh, Mama told me that Lal always believes. We can't! Shut him up! I'm afraid I cannot do that. You are both expelled from my class from now on. Okay. So now. Uh, let's see. So, we know that because one side is congruent and two sides are congruent for both of them. So that means two corresponding sides are congruent. So that means the third one must be as well. So we know that these are equal as well. Wait, wait, wait! We know this. What? So that means that we know uh, that quadrilateral weight or weight is a parallelogram. Why is that? Well, it's because opposite sides are parallel. What the? Parallel? 
Did one of you two try to sabotage me? My, my mom told you. me. You! My mom. You! 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 My, you. my mom told Go me. Go to the principal's office right now! Hmm. His bad. mom never told him that lie. My mom told me lie. <laughs> Do you want me to? <laughs> okay, okay. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. I mean, I can go home instead of having to deal with YouTube mania. <laughs>